So in this uh, video, we will be learning how to install Intel Quartus on Linux. So for this, you will have to go to the Intel FPJ Software Download Center. So in this, you will ha you will see here Quartus Prime Light. So click on that, and then uh, here you select on Linux. So here you will see download and then uh, accept this and then it will automatically download here. So here go to downloads and you will see here the this downloaded files. So So now you will run sudo apt update. It will ask for your password. So so now you will run this file which we have just downloaded. So. So first we will go, uh, navigate to the downloads folder. So here open the terminal. So well, let's so check the what are the files here. So as you can see we have this uh, quartus dot run file. So we will run this. So now we will have to get the access uh, permissions for the file. So for that we will run chmod and then uh, the file name. So our file name was this. Go to downloads and just click on properties and here you have the file name. So copy it and uh, paste it here. So we have got the permission for the file. So now you will run it. So dot slash and paste. So now it's working. So we have Cyclone. You can click on the devices uh, for for the like if you have Cyclone four. So you click it here and. This is an uh, now click on next. So first uh, you have to download and install. Click on here. So click yes. So now it will start installing. So now we uh, we will open. Uh, this Quartus Light Edition. Initially, it will not allow you. So click on uh, uh, allow launching. Then it will open. So uh, now we will learn how to enable the simulation software for this, which is the Qua Quest Star. So. So now it is unpacking the files, wait for it to get completed.
so now the uh, this is installed now let's get on to the desktop and let us see it is still not there let us look after how we can fix this this is the uh, file which we downloaded from intel website so when we uh, run this or we uh, we run this file we get this uh, folder so go on to this folder uh, run on que run quest uh, light partus light and then accept argument and next and next and but we have already installed it So let us get our no cost license. So go on to tools, license setup. So now get the no cost license. Click on this and put the check, uh, click the checkbox here and then click on OK. Then when this is finished, you will get one uh, message box in which there will be the path of the license file. So copy it. So now as we have uh, successfully set up our quarters, so now let us run our first design. So here is our Quartus software and this we will open our adder design. So how you actually uh, run files in this. So you create uh, from here create click on new and here is uh, you click on very lock HTL file and then click on OK. So so here when you create that you get ve one very log.v file then you have to save it from here like um, from here so you so you have to save from here And uh, let me tell you how you can you actually I'm just uh, I've already created a project I am telling you how you can uh, actually execute files here uh, so if you want to make a new project go to new new project wizard so I'm not closing it I will uh, open somewhere else so here new project wizard now next click on next and here like if you are designing some design like multiplier so you can give any name you want to give to the project then next click on empty project and next so we have cyclone for eboard and you can select which one you have in from here then next next and then finish so this is how you will clear cre uh, create a new project so now let us go back to our um, design so this is the adder design now how we will create the test bench so for the test bench you have to again click on new click on very log HTML file it will create a new HTML file okay and then uh, click on here files actually I have already made that uh, test bench file so this is the test bench and uh, I will tell you how to design these files and till then let us understand uh, the motive of this video is actually to install the software and um, 
understanding how we can run our designs on this software and then click on processing click on start compilation so it will compile the design so now we will run a dot sh file so in this sh file there is the part to the root directory of quartus and the lm license file so how to get uh, this uh, path so here uh, you will go to the home uh, the intel fpgli 24.1 and in this you will click on quartus and here is the bin so you will copy this you will just uh, no need to get on to the bin just this path is enough you copy this and then paste here and then uh, just now we have seen that how to get this the path of lm license file so just save this save and then go to the terminal terminal and then run the sh file dot slash setup dot s actually we need to go uh, we need to run the sh setup dot sh file where it is so uh, we have the sh file in the home directory so we will open terminal here as you can see this is our sh file so we will run here dot setup dot sh dot slash setup dot sh so we have successfully run that now one last thing which you have to do is that go on to the desktop so so open this quartus uh, file so it will be the quartus light edition dot desktop file okay so now here uh, when origin actually I have modified this file that is why it is looking like this so here um, uh, act here actually in the place of exec here we have to use this uh, command originally this was not there this was not available in the uh, in this file and because of this uh, it is not able to detect the license properly and uh, and it is not able to simulate so you have to um, put this uh, line like this <coughs> and then then save it save and then uh, it's done so now as we have uh, successfully set up our quarters so now let us run our first design So here is our Quartus software. In this, we will open our adder design. So how you actually uh, run files in this? So you create uh, from here. Create, click on new, and here is uh, you click on very log HTML file, and then click on OK. So. 
so here when you create that you get one very log.v file then you have to save it from here like um, from here so you so you have to save from here and uh, let me tell you how you can you actually i'm just uh, i've already created a project i am telling you how you can uh, actually execute files here uh, so if you want to make a new project go to new new project wizard so i'm not closing it i will uh, open somewhere else so here new project wizard now next click on next and here like if you are designing some design like multiplier so you can give any name you want to give to the project then next click on empty project and next so we have cyclone for eboard and you can select which one you have in from here then next next and then finish so this is how you will clear cre uh, create a new project so now let us go back to our um, design so this is the adder design now how we will create the test bench so for the test bench you have to again click on new click on very log HTML file it will create a new HTML file okay and then uh, click on here files actually I have already made that uh, test bench file so this is the test bench and uh, I will tell you how to design these files and till then let us understand uh, the motive of this video is actually to install the software and um, understanding how we can run our designs on this software and then click on processing click on start compilation so it will compile the design